Oh dear. This might not be all too good. Um, I mean, I think we'll be okay. I'm going to hope we're okay. Oh, is that, was that? Oh, that is, isn't it? day though guys all right now we can talk with the lady I mean, we do have a hard save before it, so mm, Lady Webb lies still in her bed, an ornate cushion propping her back upright. The blood pooled beneath a gash in her chest is tacky and nearly dry. A shattered glass rests on the floor beneath her dangling hand. You can feel the faint aura of her fading essence in your ken. You make contact and are immersed in a torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in bed with a glass of brandy in your hand. Mm, through the walls from the streets outside come the sounds of screams and shattering glass in the cacophony of an angry mob. You take a sip and it warms your gullet. And across the room, the door opens behind a, pa uh, behind a patient's steady push. Into the room walks Thales, the floorboards creaking beneath the deliberate steps. You wait until the last of the brandy has trickled down your throat before you speak. I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You are concentra concentrating, focusing with all your energy. It feels as though you are diving into a stone wall over and over, but it cracks suddenly, unexpectedly, allowing the vast wisp of a thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. Uh. He walks over to a small table and raises a half-empty brandy bottle to eye level. He seems to approve of the selection and begins to reach for an empty glass. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. He draws a long, curved knife from his belt, mm, smeared with fresh blood. With his left hand, he gently sp and gently pins your sternum as he raises the knife in the other. It's it's point dangling above your heart. Prove it. Theo slips the knife between your ribs and pushes it through. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness of blood wells up and around the blade. A pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass to the floor and your heart and you hear it shatter. With the last of your strength, you take his knife and in both uh, take his knife hand and bo in both of yours, a question radiant in your mind. For an instant, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you, unguarded, and the answer comes simple, cataclysm, mm, cataclysmic. 
and its re reordering of thoughts. Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've reached for all your life. But in your mind, own mind, you, uh, her understanding lies just beyond your reach. You look at Theos with the wide eyes of someone seeing for the first time and draw your last breath as a black velvet darkness descends over you. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the Leaden Key itself. I want to check something. I don't normally like doing this, but uh, one second, guys. Okay. Hold on, guys, just a second. Oh, okay. I think we'll be okay. So now we need to head to Twin Elms. As you cross the bridge, Aloth draws up beside you. The fires of Defiance Bay cast a shivering, flickering light across one half of his face. The other is in darkness. Please stop. I need to tell you something. Don't tell me you've got another personality tucked away in there. He smiles weakly with that. <laughs> Would that there were. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of animancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood my father and his earl. 
At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believed they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on animancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. At the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. You knew I was coming? I couldn't have. I'd been out of contact with my superiors for months. I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned that you'd survive that Beowick. And I thought you might be able to put me back on the Leaden Keys trail. And I was correct in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the Leaden Key was trying to stop Animancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. And now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Animancy. But I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology. And my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. And what do you really expect us to do with this too late confession? Trust you on your word? With all your supposed extra senses, I don't know why this is invoiced. Uh, you letting this happen? How like a watcher to miss what's right in front of his eyes because he's too busy dancing in the ether. Oh, he's talking to me. Well, you dick. The corner of Sagani's eyes crinkle. A team can't survive without trust. All the same, I think he means it. Feel kind of attached, even with the betrayal. He's got this way of taking offense that I really like. Tough one. I forgive you, Aeloth, but I want you beside me, not behind me. I'm not asking you to trade one master for another. That would be an honor. Before we go on, I'd like to discuss a few things. How exactly did you join the Leaden Key? Oh, right? Yes. As it often is with such follies, I was young and uh, directionless. The Leaden Key promised some of the structure I was lacking, and they offered me a future far removed from service to my father's Earl. Animancy is possibly even more controversial and adhere than it is here. The practice has been outlawed for 600 years, but prohibition has a way of breeding curiosity. The success and relative acceptance that Animancy has found, he mm, found here and in the Valian Republic spurred a renewed interest in a deer. The Leaden Key began recruiting more regressively, and I was in the final period of my training when one of my instructors reached out to me. As I said, it was a welcome departure from my father's plans, and after seeing a few of my colleagues abandon their studies and magic to pursue Animancy in the Republics, I was convinced that something needed to be done to stop the spread. Ava looks at you with quiet attentiveness. How may I be of service? Oh, that was it? All right. Um, now I might be able to come down here. Might be. But, oh.
This is new. Uh, leave for a second. You hear grating and grinding come from, coming from the stone ahead, stone head above you. The chips of Andra and its eye sockets glow bright green. A voice, deep and resonant, echoes from the stone mouth. What begins as a garble of language, language resolves itself in your own uh, mother tongue. There's no truer blade than essence forged in bronze. Turn twice to the left and prepare your soul for its reckoning. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Say what you want about dear woodens. If they haven't met the problem yet, they couldn't solve by killing some scapegoats. You fight for people because you see something there that deserves defending, even more so because someone you trust sees it too. Then you turn around and they do something like this, and the person who made you want to help them is gone. You weren't really fighting for all of them, though. <laughs> just like the uh, just the ones I like, then. Maybe, maybe. It'd be nice if you got to choose. Tell the low lives that if that if you die, it wouldn't be th it wouldn't be for their sorry hides. Never thought I'd find myself missing the hospitality back home. Mhm. Mm oh, and there's a spider. Both theaters. Let's go. Please. I'll take a look. Dominion of the Sleeper. Um, once per rest. Plus two might, plus two con, plus two dex, plus two perception, plus two intellect, plus two resolve. For, for 22 seconds. What? Take a look. That was a that was a fight. Sure. Stone faces 
Adra eyes glow and a voice rumbles from its open mouth. The past is the hilt of a weapon. The true warrior gra uh, grasps it and knows its strength. Speak the quality that, that, that defines you. I bring people together. I'm at my best when working alongside my allies. And so it is with your power. Okay. That was weird, but okay. Small white stones bloom from the rock. They all feel firmly fixed in place, but there's a hollow where one appears to have been removed. Interesting. As the green light spills from the uh, relief's eyes, you hear another deep, rough-edged voice. Desire is the aim of the soul. It is purpose and direction. That, uh, the sharpened point of a blade. Speak your ambition that your soul may strike true. I would inspire those around me and lend my strength to our common purpose. So shall it be. A uh, symbol glows to life on the wall. It pulses with light, smoldering against the lichen-covered wall. A vessel of flesh may house a soul for years, but a vessel of bronze will house a soul for generations. Enter the water and choose a vessel of stone. Okay.
feel an unwelcome crawling sensation in your head. A high-pitched ring overwhelms your senses and is accompanied by an angry uttering. Invader, thief, the voice is alien and fierce, jolting through your mind like lightning. A needle stab at your brain with every syllable, but it vanish abruptly along with the word. The ring in your head is gone. The serpent symbols and icons of anguish engraved into the floor resolve into words in your mind. Warriors shall call forth two witnesses, and they shall take up positions upon the emblems that bear testament to the character of his soul. And the warrior shall ascend the dais, uh, dais soul vessel in hand, to undergo transference. Bearing a soul vessel and a weapon with a heart of Audra, the warrior may then approach the urn. In this way, he shall fashion an arm worthy of his skills and ambition. Uh. Oh, what? Nice and quiet. What the? Grimoire. Sure. Uh, the, the symbols here catch the light from the braziers all on our own. Okay, the braziers all honor to those who give up and give of themselves for the glory of Ingwith. Pale stones around the room look dull and lifeless. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to jump down one of the holes. Maybe? Is mm, this large tunnel curves underneath the floor and continues to, mm, to the east? It's blocked by glistening ropes of webbing that you might be able to slide past. The walls beneath the webbing feel weak and crumbly, and with the proper tools, you might be able to widen the passage. Um, break through the webbing? Uh, you consider the thick, vicious strands. Breaking through them will require considerable strain.
Nice. Uh, swinging and slashing, you, you sever the uh, heavy webs. As you clear passes, the needle-like voice digs into your skull once more. Infiltrating, pursuing. You shall not have it. You hear a hungry chittering. Now feed. Skittering, uh, skittering creatures with gnashing mandibles uh, pour from the wall. Not too large. Uh, sticky threads of webbing dangling mm, dangle from the mouth of the tunnel. The patches through it is clear enough. Uh, enter the tunnel. Okay, so it just brings us back to here. Oh, 